Hi, this is uh, T. This is episode 66 of the End AIDS series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021, last year. It's also February 4th, 2022. And I hope you guys are all doing uh, today's episode. Uh, theme is uh, good versus evil. Um, and we'll get into that after a second where I relay um, the good news. So it's another funding drive for Southern Time Productions because no money yet. But the conversation went well, very well with that uh, investor yesterday. He doesn't have, he was open, unbelievable, never. He's the needle in the haystack I've been looking for. So there's got to be some good rich people out in the world. And this guy is really, really genuine no matter what his income status would be, I'd say this guy's a good person. He has a good heart. He he lives for others, right? He gets joy from helping others. Really a beautiful person. And uh, and so um, he was honest. He said that uh, he um, he would. He thinks I have a great idea. He understood it more since we last talked. And um, he said I'd invest if I could. It's just all this money money is tied up in other investments, other startups right now. But he uh, thought of two people in this network who thought might want to take it on, um, be executive producers, basically. It's, and he said it would be most likely, the amount you're asking will be mostly spread out amongst maybe 12, 15 investors. They'll invest a million dollars each or something. And um, and yeah, and so he said he sent them my pitch deck an email a week and a half ago after I sent it to him and uh and he hasn't heard back from them yet. And so the night before he he saw that I was booked for Zoom and you know and he thought, Oh, I haven't heard any updates yet so uh, he sent them another email uh two nights ago and they they he said uh but he said you know, he's not that kind of he's a soft sell, he's not a hard sell. He doesn't pester people. That's his style. So he wants to stick to that. Very honest guy, open, honest Again, like um, these are the people we need in our world. Whether you're rich or poor, or somewhere in between, you know, good people. Work on yourself. If we all were good like that guy, you know, our world would be a paradise. No one would suffer, right? It's the responsibility lies in each one of us. And so that's a good transition to the topic of today: good versus evil. Uh, many people have said that our existence on planet Earth is basically a war between good and evil. Other people have framed it as we're here to, as it's a teaching ground for our souls to progress, to become better and better. So in that way, you could see that from a dualistic perspective, good versus evil. But uh, the Eastern uh, philosoph philosophical and religious views is that we're actually evolving as souls. We're becoming more and more compassionate and loving and sentient as we progress through time after lifetime after lifetime. And I think that makes more sense for me than the good versus evil. Because that's what the point I want to make. Um, we all have good and evil in us, right? Good people get tempted. Relatively good people get tempted all the time, right? And it's, it's the people who seem to be super, super good that you have to watch out. What are they? Where is their weaknesses, right? That's why authenticity is a value that we at Southern Time Productions value. It's... Uh, is is really important that's the first one on the list is authenticity so um you know you be open about your faults right and that ties into humility right and vulnerability and uh and then the last one integrity that's another topic i've already covered that but yeah that ties it all in together um authenticity is the first integrity is the last um to keep everything a uh, person really well that's where my head's at now or my spirit's at right but um uh you know just uh and and when you work on yourself make yourself a better person more gooder not more eviler <laughs> you um you inspire others to do the same right just look at these canadian truckers like it's inspired me to be, be the better man right to you know it's like uh you know, I'm, I, I was like analyzing myself with those precepts that I've outlined what I want for my company. 
those values. And I was like, I'm letting a lot, li- lacking a little with integrity, right? I'm not doing what I'm saying, doing, you know, I'm not being honest necessarily. So I was like, you got to nip that in the bud, Tim. You got to practice what you preach. And, uh, and, and it was really, I'd say the Canadian truckers, you know, um, with this protest, you know, taking their time, their money, risking their livelihoods to make a stand, right? To stand for human values that we have bodily autonomy, that we have the right to choose, you know, who the government works for us. We don't work for the government. That's the definition of what it means to live in a free society. We don't want to lose that. And so, you know, inspired me to buck up Chuck and be better. Right. And, um, you know, they say good in the end, in the end always wins. Right. And, uh, and that is true from the Eastern perspective too. Like everything is a progression to be more gooder, to be more compassionate, more loving, more uh, self-accepting, for, for more selfless, like thinking of others, living for others other than yourself. So um, in that sense, both perspectives agree. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you tomorrow.